Welcome back everyone. Once again, sitting in the Buick Enclave Avenir. This thing is beautiful. But what I'm gonna get into is customizing your gauge cluster with this massive 30 inch display screen. So let's hop right in. We are literally in the driver's seat. You have not only your normal infotainment screen, but your gauge cluster. So I'm gonna be showing you how to customize both. So getting right into it, I'm on both of the built-in Google Maps inside of the vehicle's operating system. So this is option one. You're gonna click this button on the bottom right of the steering wheel, clicking it in. And those are gonna change your functions. You have your gap adjust with lane assist, your normal maps, or normal, not maps, but gauge cluster with the speedometer and your different functions showing. And then of course, Google Maps. Now I'm gonna hop onto my phone, gonna compare it, and then we'll show you what it looks like with Apple CarPlay. Now that we've got the Apple CarPlay paired, all you have to do is click the screen the button for the screens again. Now this is my Apple Maps. Uh, to my knowledge, and as of right now, you're not able to put um, any other maps on the screen. Um, doesn't allow you. You can, however, change your wallpaper. It's just a little bit laggy because I'm using my microphone. Um, but it's not laggy any other time, I'd swear to you. Um, but I do have ways still built in with this screen. There's just no compatibility here. But getting right back into the customization of the screen, say you're here, you're gonna go to vehicle status. This is gonna be a couple ways to customize it. You're gonna go into maintenance. You can go to these different um, additions and you can add it to your display. Now it's gonna automatically revert it back to where you have your speedometer because these are all gonna change your left side information. I can even go back, go into air quality, which I really like, I think it's a cool Buick feature. And you can see air quality right in the screen. Now say so I even change the screen, there's my Apple Maps. And then anytime you want something custom, as we <laughs> change the radio station, um, if you're gonna customize it, it's gonna take you back to this screen and put it over here. Then to customize a little bit further, just as far as music, you click your music note here and you can uh, scroll down to your different radio stations, clicking it again, Sirius XM, Apple CarPlay, USB, news, podcasts, and Alexa, if you have it built in. So it's a lot easier to flip through it. And as you, you know, play music or something, like I'll go in here and just play some music. Um, not gonna make it, you know, sound. Well, as I tried to play the music, the camera cut out. So uh, back to it, but kind of showing you right here, it'll show you your album and the uh, music name and everything like that. Once again, pretty cool um, Apple CarPlay and using the same phone at the same time, doesn't necessarily work. Same with Android Auto, but that's gonna be how you're able to really customize it is going to be over here in your vehicle maintenance. Once again, love it. It's very seamless, especially when you're not taking a video, but it's nice to be able to have that maps right there in front of you, which used to have your speedometer. And then with your lane keep assist and uh, adaptive cruise control on, it's gonna be right there on the screen. I wanna thank y'all once again for watching. Hopefully it was helpful. I'll see y'all in the next one.